Hi students, today let us start with chapter 2, Acids, Bases and Salts. Some sour substances contain acid. Acid comes from the Latin word acere which means sour. Now let's look at some more examples of substances in nature that have natural acids in them. Vinegar has acetic acid. Citrus fruits have citric acid. Anstein has formic acid. Curd has lactic acid. Spinach has oxalic acid. Grapes, tamarind and unripe mangoes have tartaric acid. So, some substances that are bitter in taste contain base and they feel soapy to touch. Now, let's learn some more substances that contain base. The soaps that we use have the base sodium hydroxide. Detergents have the base ammonium hydroxide. Similarly, lime water is calcium hydroxide. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Milk of magnesia is magnesium hydroxide. Without tasting, how do we determine whether a substance is acidic or basic? We use a special type of substance called indicators. How will these indicators help us to detect acidic or basic solution? They change their color differently when added to these solutions. So, how do we define these indicators? Indicators are substances that help us to detect whether the given solution is acidic or basic. Now let's learn about types of indicators. Natural indicators, synthetic indicators and olfactory indicators. Now let's learn about natural indicators. Litmus, turmeric and hibiscus. There are other natural materials like red cabbage leaves, colored petals of some flowers such as hydrangea, petunia and geranium which indicate the presence of acid or base in a solution. So these are called acid base indicators or simply indicators. Litmus is a natural dye extracted from lichens that grow on trees and rocks. It is available in the form of solution and strips of paper. In its neutral state, it is purple in color and available as red and blue litmus paper. The pictures here show us the red litmus solution, blue litmus solution, red litmus paper and blue litmus paper. These are the litmus indicators used to find whether the given solution is acidic or basic. Now let's look at a litmus test. Acid changes blue litmus to red, base changes red litmus to blue. When we insert both red and blue litmus in a basic solution, the red litmus changes to blue and the blue litmus does not show any change. Similarly, in acidic solution, the blue litmus changes to red and the red litmus does not show any change. In neutral solutions, both red and blue litmus does not show any change. Now let's learn about synthetic indicators or man-made indicators. Some commonly used synthetic indicators are phenophthalene, methyl orange and methyl red. Phenophthalene is colorless. Phenophthalene turns pink in basic solution and remains colorless in acidic solution. Synthetic indicator, methyl orange. Methyl orange is yellow in color. It turns red orange in acidic solution and remains yellow in basic solution. Let us discuss the effect of dilute chemicals in laboratory with the following indicators. Litmus paper, phenophthalene and methyl orange. The acids like dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute sulfuric acid and dilute nitric acid turns blue litmus to red. With phenophthalene, there is no change, it remains colorless. With methyl orange, it turns yellow to red orange. The base is like Sodium hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide turns red litmus to blue and with phenophthalene it turns to pink that is colorless to pink. With methyl orange 
no change it remains as yellow what are olfactory indicators an olfactory indicator is a substance whose smell varies depending on whether it is mixed with an acidic or basic solution onion vanilla extract and clove oil are some examples for olfactory indicators olfactory indicator test with onion scrap take some finely chopped onions in a plastic bag along with some strips of clean cloth tie up the bag tightly and leave it overnight in a refrigerator take the cloth strips and check their odor keep them on a clean surface and put few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid on one strip and few drops of sodium hydroxide on the other strip rinse both cloth strips with water and check their odor the strip with sodium hydroxide solution will have no smell the strip with hydrochloric acid solution will have the smell of the onion still on it the odor is lost in basic solution whereas the odor remains the same in acidic solution the same experiment may be performed with vanilla extract and clove oil